On this episode of Wangle's Workshop, I'll be restoring this bench back to its former glory days. This will actually be the second bench restoration video that I've done for the channel. This one will be a little bit different though because the last time I had to replace all the wooden slats for the bench and this time I'm going to be able to reuse the wood. So I'll just have to plane it and sand it down and we'll be good to go. Instead of pulling the whole bench apart, I'm just going to remove one of the square slats and then take it over, see exactly how much planing and sanding I have to do and then I'll just get a game plan and go from there. On this first board, I'll start out and use a chisel to remove any of the prior built up finish that's on it. And then I'll switch over to my power planer and go ahead and rip off that whole edge and make a fresh edge. I set the planer to only 1 64th of an inch because I only want to remove a tiny amount of material. I don't want to shrink the board. Once the board is finished being planed, I'll stick some 120 grit sandpaper to a piece of plywood and just start sanding the board out. So here's the result of a rough finished first board. Now I'll go ahead and pull a few more of the square slats off and continue the process. Once I get the first five square slats done, I'm going to go ahead and pop off that top round piece and figure out exactly how hard it's going to be to sand that down. I probably won't be able to plane it at all because all the edges are curved. So it's probably going to be a ton of sanding, which is, you know, a little bit obnoxious. I did go ahead and plane the two flat edges on these rounded boards just to save me a tiny bit of time with the sanding. Once I was done planing the two sides, I'll bust out the orbital sander and get to work. It was quite messy and I started with 60 grit sandpaper because there was just so much finish to eat my way through. And then I kind of just worked through the grits. So now that I got it all figured out, I'll go ahead and take the rest of the bench apart and finish planing and sanding down the rest of the boards. Once I finished planing and sanding the rest of the boards, I set up a stop block on my miter saw and took a blade off of every board on both ends. This board had a pretty large split in the end, so what I'll do is fill it with wood glue and then clamp it together. And then while the glue is still wet, I will sand over the crack and it basically will create sawdust from the board that will make a wood filler that matches the board itself. Once I'm done with all that, I gave all the boards a once over with my orbital sander with a 320 grit paper. And now I'm cleaning off all the boards using a wet washcloth and a big bucket of water. 
Now I'll set all the boards up and get ready to put their first coat of urethane on. For the finish, I'll be using an oil-based product by Verithane. And so I saturated my brush in mineral spirits to make it easier to clean after I do this. If you're interested in this product, I'll have it linked in the description. I'm going to start off by putting a couple coats on the back sides of the boards. And if you get a little bit on the sides of them, that's fine. Just make sure you brush it flat and don't leave any like drips or build up. While that's taking a couple years to dry in the Florida humidity, I will go ahead and start on the legs. I will start with a chisel and scrape off any of the bulky stuff. And then I'll move on to this wire brush that will scrub down all the metal and kind of remove anything that's loose. Once I'm done with that, I will use some vinegar and a wire brush to further scrape the metal down. And then I'll just use a washcloth to wipe everything clean and let it dry. To paint the legs, I will be using a oil-based flat black paint by Rust-Oleum. And I will also link that in the description if you're interested in the product. I ended up doing a total of three coats on the legs. Now I'll start building up coats on the faces and sides of the boards. I decided to try out a foam roller and this worked very well for spreading a nice thin even coat. Between each coat of urethane, I'll use a 320 grit sandpaper to scuff the finish. Um, again, I'm not trying to remove or sand heavy, I'm just simply scuffing the finish and then I'll take again washcloth and water and wipe the boards down very well before applying the next coat. And here is the finished product of the boards. Now let's go ahead and assemble the bench. For assembly of the bench, I will stand up the leg so I can access the bottom of it first. And to do this, I ordered screws that are a little bit fatter than the ones I removed and they're stainless steel so that they won't rust from weather. Then I'll stand the bench up and work up the back of it board by board. Once the bench is assembled, I'll scuff everything one last time with 600 grit sandpaper and then I'll brush on a final coat of urethane just to make sure everything looks even and clean. I'd like to take a second to thank everyone who's helped support this channel so far. We recently broke 8,000 subs and I'm very grateful for that. I'll be trying to upload as much as possible between now and the end of the year and I would love to break that 10,000 sub mark before the end of 2020. So if you've been watching my videos or if you enjoyed this video and you haven't subscribed yet, I'd greatly appreciate it if you considered it. And as always, thanks for watching.